Okay, this is a quick video to just show how you uh, reload the Aerotech 24mm RC rocket motor casing. Um, it's very simple. Um, in the reload, you're going to get a, a propellant uh, piece with the uh, liner. The propellant's already inserted into the liner. You're going to get a little cardboard spacer. You're going to get an O-ring. Now, the O-ring is reused for each of the three motors that are in a three reload pack so you need to save that for the three flights and then you've got your nozzle you've got the reload casing which has a solid end there's no forward end on it and the rear uh, closure ring so the first thing I do is I take the propellant and the end that has the slot I'm gonna poke that down a little bit so that it has some room in there and then I'm gonna insert the little spacer ring into the end with the slot and then I'm going to push it back down so that the spacer ring is now uh, flush with the end. So you want the spacer ring on the end with the slot. Um, then I'm going to look at the nozzle and I'm going to make sure that the nozzle is open. Sometimes those come with a little bit of flashing in them and you need to clean them out with a little exacto knife. You just spin the exacto knife in the hole until it's open. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to Put some uh, high temp uh, grease in the uh, in the threads and inside the casing. Um, I use a super lube. It's a synthetic uh, grease I get from Ace Hardware. So you're just going to put that on the inside of the case and on the uh, on the threads. I'm going to uh, put the same grease on the O-ring, and then I'm going to also put some grease on the front end of the. Um, propellant and that keeps the propellant from burning on that end if any flame was to get around um, uh, the cardboard liner it keeps it from starting um, on the wrong end and then I'll put a little grease on the cardboard as well that just helps it slide in and out so all you're gonna do you just put the propellant in with the um, slotted end facing the rear you're gonna put in your nozzle make sure it's seated all the way you're going to put in your o-ring and then you're going to screw it shut make sure it closes all the way. Uh, Aerotech sells a little bit tool that goes into these two slots that helps you turn and unturn if it gets kind of tight you can kind of skin your fingers if you don't have a tool to do that sometimes. Uh, the last comment I want to make is the igniter. Uh, so this is the igniter um, the igniter has to go all the way up into the slot so typically if you insert it and you see about half of this little um, heat shrink piece sticking out then that's in all the way um, sometimes you can catch on the edge of the propellant um, and it doesn't go in all the way so that you want to make sure that it's at least in that far you can kind of feel and make sure that it's in so when it's in it goes in about that far so you want to make sure that it's in at least that far. And that's it. And then uh, when you're done, you just unscrew it, pull all the pieces out, make sure you save the O-ring, um, and use it for the next reload. Um, I clean my case maybe about every three or four flights, and I just use a, a, a handy wipe, um, and I just get in there with my finger, and I just kind of wipe out the case, and then use a dry paper towel and uh, wipe it out, and then just kind of wipe off the rear closure um, it, you should do it before you put the motor casing away for the day but every three or four flights typically it's good to just clean it out because there's extra little gunk and stuff that kind of builds up from the um, from the flights that you want to make sure that everything's going to tighten down nicely so that's it